Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your constant contact account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you upload your contact list into constant contact? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to upload your contact list into constant contact? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're switching into constant contact from your other email provider, you know that you can download your contact list from your other email provider and then put it into your constant contact. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your constant contact dashboard. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already opened up my constant contact account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, in order to upload your contact list or your email list, what you're going to do is here on the top, I'm going to click on contacts. Then you're going to see a drop down menu and you want to click on add contacts. Okay. So once you click there, you're going to get these three options right here. And in order to upload a list into constant contact, you want to click on this one upload from file. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to see this upload button right here. Constant contact does let you know it should be in either CSV, XLS, XLSX, VCF, or text file. If you need help organizing your contact list in order to put it into your constant contact, go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. Also, you can click right here and download an example file. So that way you can format your spreadsheet to match the constant contact file. So once you have that ready, what you're going to do is click on upload. Okay. Once you do that, it's going to go ahead and start uploading your list. All right. Once the list is ready to be uploaded, you're going to go ahead and click on this continue button here on the top, right? Okay. So here is where you can go ahead and match up the fields. So sometimes it doesn't read it correctly. So for my spreadsheet, I had it as address line two and address line one. So this is not correct. So let me go ahead and close this. Okay. I'm going to click right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and choose address line one. And you can see it's already in use right here. So I'm going to close this one down. And then the unit number is usually on the address line two. So let me go ahead and add that in. And then it's not matching up the city. So what I'm going to do is click right here and then I'm going to look for the field inside of my spreadsheet. In my spreadsheet, it's listed as home city. All right. Now you see that it has a green check mark, All right? It's not reading the zip code either. So what I'll do is click here and then choose the zip code for my spreadsheet. So right here is the way it appears home zip code. And let me go ahead and just click here. So this particular field I'm not going to use. So I'll go ahead and click skip field. Okay. I went ahead and clicked on skip field for all of these. I'm going to click on continue. Okay. Next constant contact requires you to go ahead and confirm right here that you have permission to go ahead and email these contacts. Be careful when you confirm this because if constant contact runs this against their database and they find that you maybe purchased this list, they can kick you off of constant contact. And then here you can go ahead and create a list if you want to do that. So for example, if this is a real estate list, or if this is a make money online list, go ahead and add that here. You can also tag the list so that way you can keep them organized with your other lists. And once you're ready to go ahead and upload your contact list into constant contact, click on import here on the top, right? Okay. Now it's importing. Okay. A quick second later, the page refreshes. You can see I added three new contacts into my constant contact and their information is right down here, including their name, their email, and any other fields that you decided to add in. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to import your email list into constant contact. That's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.